Here's an RCA Victor one tube record player from about 1959 or 1960. This is the one EMP 2K. And it's sort of a camel saddle colored vinyl over steel. RCA Victor. It's not in too bad a shape altogether. Hardware could use some polishing. Case could use a little care. Here's her back with some uh, ductworks. More hardware. They spent some time on that hardware. And feet. And there's our power plug. Unfortunately, a previous owner put his name there. I'm assuming it's a him. It could have been a her. And let me uh, sort of raise the view up here. There's our interior of the top, and once again, that person's name shows up. So we'll take the power cord out and take a look around here. We have four speed 16, 33, 45, 78. There's no neutral position. RCA Victor, our platter's a little worse for wear. Integrated 45 adapter. Um, kind of a nice little pattern here covering the speaker. And our cone, bass and treble control, on off volume control, and our cone arm, which has a crack in it, so this is not going to be uh, anything for collecting, that's for sure. And see a little tag in here. Let me take the camera off the tripod for a minute. We'll get in there and get a close up look at that. Here's the tag. Interesting, it shows it was made in Indianapolis here. Probably at the same plant that they were demolishing a couple years ago when I made the video of the demolition. Maybe I'll link to that at the end of this video. Also talks about servicing the tube 25L6-GT. Alright, looking here, this says MG, which is the position for the 16, 33, and 45 stylus. You flip it over to get to your 78 stylus. Let's try and look under here and see what kind of cartridge we have going. See, it has a nice static cartridge. Now let's try out a 45 on it. I can hear a little thumpy from a, maybe a dented idler wheel, maybe. And here comes some filter capacitor on. Neither of those are unexpected. cartridge still seems to have some life in it. It's kind of weird, the crack in the cone arm makes the visual appearance sort of odd. Tone control works. When you turn it up loud, you don't really hear the filter capacitor on too much. Try a uh, we'll try what? What do I got here that I could use? How about a thirty three Johnny Mathis? This is a scratched up record, so it won't sound great anyway. But, plays 33s. 
I don't have any 16s. But I do have a 78. Once again, not in good condition. This is the Andrew Sisters. Let's switch my uh, needle here. To the 78 side. Let's open it up. Two screws here and identical on the other side and we should be able to have the top off in just a minute. How are we doing here? I don't know if we'll be able to see this just yet. I'm going to spin it around and lay the chassis and the top of the player here. Maybe that'll give us a good angle. There's our speaker and coil. And I'm not sure if any of those could be a date code. If they are, I don't know what they are. I like to say, I'm pretty sure this is 1959 or 1960 model from what I could find on the internet. If anybody has any better information, let me know. There's a little tag in here on the underside of the lid. There's our tube, 25L6GT. Um, there's our filter capacitor. Let's see what I've got to work with here. Two 50 microfarads at 150 volts each. Which I'm sure I don't have. Let me unscrew the uh, little amplifier chassis here. See our selenium rectifier. A couple more capacitors. Maybe some power resistors. I'm not sure what they do. You can see our pots here have some nice easily accessible holes here. I think I'll take a moment to spray some cleanser in them. tube socket. Let's hook things back up. Alright, I've removed the turntable for a minute to look at the idler wheel here. It feels good. It feels nice and soft. It's not hard. I see maybe the tiniest little fault somewhere on here when I was going around. It's not jumping out at me right now. It might be causing that slight thumping I hear or think I hear. And hiding down in there is the tube 25L6 GT. sisters. So that's the 1960-ish RCA Victor record player. It's the oldest record player I have. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and hope you subscribe. Bye.